Oh boy, check this out! A new continent is discovered in the Pacific Ocean, but you don't want a vacation there. You know, people use plastic every day. It's cheap, convenient, and easy to produce, isn't it? Here are some facts to show you how popular this material is all over the world. Approximately 1 trillion single-use bags made from plastic are thrown away every year. In other words, this is 2 million plastic bags a minute. In 2016, people bought drinks in 480 billion plastic bottles. But 10 years earlier, the number was much lower – 300 billion. Every day, people from all over the world use more than half a million plastic straws. As for bubble wrap, the amount produced in just one year would be enough to cover our planet around the equator. And you'd be able to do this not once, but 10 times. 500 billion plastic cups are used and disposed of annually. Coffee lovers use 16 billion disposable coffee cups every year. These are estimated separately, as they're coated with a plastic that laminates their insides. The lids are also produced from plastic. More than 14 million tons of plastic foam polystyrene, are manufactured every year. Americans get rid of 25 billion styrofoam cups in one year. When you order takeout, remember this number – 269,000. This is how much takeout plastic waste in tons has already entered the world's ocean. Now, you might ask, why are you telling me about plastic waste when I'm all set to watch a video about a new continent? Well, this is a reasonable question. But it wouldn't arise if you knew that this new continent is an island that consists solely of garbage and plastic waste. In fact, there are three huge garbage islands in the world – in the central North Pacific Ocean, in the Indian Ocean, and in the Atlantic Ocean. To put it in a nutshell, a huge portion of the garbage we've just spoken about ends up in the ocean. The distribution of this plastic waste is extremely uneven. Due to winds and currents, garbage tends to gather in particular places. The biggest of the three garbage islands is situated in the North Pacific Ocean. It's called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, or GPGP. It was first noticed in the 1980s, but it wasn't worth much worrying about at that time. However, the latest estimates have thrown researchers off base. Scientists have found out that the size of the garbage island is currently more than 600,000 square miles. That's 4 to 16 times bigger than previous reports stated. This huge territory is larger than Alaska, which is 570,000 square miles. Bigger than such significantly sized countries as Iran and Mongolia. Twice as big as Texas. And three times bigger than France. According to the journal Scientific Reports, there are more than 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic that have accumulated in this area. This debris weighs about 90,000 tons. This equals the weight of 500 jumbo jets. Boy, that's a lot of junk! What exactly is this garbage? Most pieces are tiny particles of plastic, which are smaller than one-tenth of an inch. Nowadays, you can find such microplastics even in bottled water. These particles account for approximately 8% of the total mass. 46% of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is fishing nets. The rest is other types of plastic waste. Environmentalists believe that more than 8 million tons of plastic get into the ocean every year, and this whopping number is just 3% of the world's waste. The main polluters are Asian countries, and China tops the list. The industry is at its peak there, and environmental problems take a back seat. Well, for those who believe that our planet is suffering from overpopulation, new continents may seem good and welcome. But not when these continents are made of garbage. Why is plastic in the ocean so dangerous? Well, you probably understand that there is more to it than just the issue of aesthetics. Here are the more serious problems connected with the plastic pollution of the ocean. Pieces of plastic become extremely fragile under the influence of sunlight. They also collide with other debris or rocks. As a result, tiny particles of plastic appear. What happens next? Well, sea inhabitants and birds munch on these tiny pieces of plastic, thinking they are something edible. In most cases, these plastic objects kill the animals or get stuck in their bodies. Moreover, 
Some types of plastic release toxic substances, which poison creatures that have been careless enough to swallow a foreign object. During its 30-year history, the International Coastal Cleanup has reported about 700 species that have been killed or hurt by marine waste. These species vary from tiny plankton to huge whales. Here are some sad statistics. 100,000 marine animals and more than 1 million seabirds die every year simply because they have eaten something they shouldn't have, namely plastic. Shockingly, some marine species are on the brink of extinction right now, and the reason is the plastic pollution of the ocean. Now, when fish feed on plastic, it influences the whole food chain. Smaller creatures have terrible digestive problems, which of course aren't treated, so they die from intestinal injuries. But this also spreads the risk all over the food chain, involving larger fish and marine mammals. As we've already mentioned, some types of plastic are toxic. In addition, plastic has the ability to absorb such poisonous substances as mercury. What do you think will happen if you cook a fish that has plastic inside it for dinner? See how things can get extremely dangerous? People keep fishing in polluted waters, which is why there's a high possibility that some harmful substances will find their way to your dinner table. Toxins found in different types of plastic can cause cancer, lead to problems with the immune system, and provoke birth defects. Now there's one more problem that grows proportionally to the amount of plastic waste in the ocean. Sea animals get trapped in fishing nets and other garbage, such as plastic tapes and bags. And as a result, the inhabitants of the ocean are unable to free themselves and die of hunger. Birds often choke to death after trying to swallow a bright object that has caught their eye. Many also suffocate after tangling themselves in debris. There have been several studies that have estimated that 44% of seabirds, as well as sea turtles, have plastic objects in or around their bellies. So, as you can see, the problem of plastic garbage in the ocean is extremely serious. Some researchers estimate that by 2050, the total mass of the waste in the ocean will be equal to the total mass of all fish. Some countries are ready to announce an ecological disaster. Let's look at Bali, Indonesia. This is one of the most popular surfing destinations in the world. Until recently, there have been perfect conditions for relaxing and practicing your surfing skills. But nowadays, Kuta, one of the best places for surfing, has become infamous for its unbelievably polluted beach. Some days, this long and sandy strand is clean and beautiful. But you might arrive there the next morning to find the beach covered with garbage. Indonesian authorities have recently declared a garbage emergency, and it's high time measures were taken with more than 100 tons of waste being brought ashore every day to beaches from Simayak to Jimbaran to Kuta. The ocean around these places has already been given the nickname the Plastic Sea. So, to prevent our beautiful oceans from turning into plastic waste deposits, people need to do something. There are several ways to solve this problem. People can find a way to remove the garbage that is already in the ocean. In this case, the removed plastic could find new uses in different spheres. For example, Yumenoshima, an island in Tokyo Bay, was created from the waste landfill. Nowadays, there's a stadium, a museum, and a park on this artificial island. Another way out is to decrease pollution or stop it completely. This can be done by educating people and starting to use only biodegradable plastic. This kind of plastic turns into dust in just 1-5 to five years. Still, there must be specific conditions for it to degrade. For instance, water and ultraviolet light. There might also be some more extravagant options. There is at least one living creature on Earth that is happy to be surrounded by as much plastic as possible. This wondrous creature is the larvae of the wax moth, and it needs just 40 minutes to eat a sizable hole in a plastic bag. The larvae easily decompose regular polyethylene products. Scientists don't yet know how this phenomenon works, but perhaps this is how Mother Nature tries to keep herself healthy. Well, whatever the solution is, it's time for people to take action to protect our planet from suffocating under piles of plastic garbage. Press the like button if you always try to be considerate and do something to keep our planet safe. 
would you agree to become a volunteer and clean beaches for a month? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, help keep your planet healthy, and stay on the bright side of life.